Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery and today's review is on the Cross Century Sterling Silver Pen. Thank you Mr. Leoman. So let's take a look. Um, we have three pens here because I need to uh, explain the evolution of this specific model, the Sterling Silver one. This uh, personally is one of my favorites. Um, I like the idea of a Sterling Silver pen. I love the shine of silver. Um, it has a very distinctive shine compared to the lustrous chrome as well as uh, silver is better while polished it kind of hides small tiny uh, scratches compared to the lustrous chrome one the lustrous chrome being the more economic but also the most iconic model it's also very prone to be uh, noticeable when it's very uh, heavily used while the sterling silver one being sterling or fully silver uh, makes it possible that just giving it a nice polish it will look, it will always look really beautiful and shine a lot so Mr. Lego Man was was kind enough to share us uh, three pens let me go uh, and explain you a little bit um, Cross at some point uh, introduced the lustrous chrome the 12 karat gold uh, at first it was 12 karat gold filled, eventually they uh, downgraded to 10 karat as it's still currently being made. But they also introduced at some point around the 1960s the sterling silver one. And this is one of the earlier ones. How can you tell? If you look at it, it looks fairly similar to a lustrous chrome. Why? Because it has the same uh, big black cap. Except that if you look closely on the top, the 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 button here on top is a sterling silver as well. If you polish it, it will shine just like the rest of the body. The clip is same, sturdy, but what kind of gives the fact that this is the sterling silver is the difference, if you notice, of the chrome tip with the rest of the sterling silver of the body. Now, this one is one of the probably the earlier ones, 1960s, but it's also back when Cross made these sterling silver pens for Tiffany and Company. So, if you see this kind of pen that looks the same as the Cross Century with the Tiffany & Co logo printed, that means that, well, uh, this is one of those cross-made pens for Tiffany. But it'll probably be a bit more expensive considering the Tiffany name, but it's basically just a cross rebranded. Same twist mechanism, again, same uh, stripes around the lines for giving a better grip. In general, sterling silver has a very good grip. I like that's why I like also this pen more than the lustrous chrome, because other than the very distinctive shine of silver, uh, it has a better grip compared to the lustrous chrome. Now, if we take a look with the lustrous chrome, here is a uh, 1990s, as you can see from the font on the clip, and over here on top says just cross and USA. This is the lustrous chrome. As you can see, the tip has the same shine as the rest of the body and it also tends to be more slippery as this being a 1990s model uh, they stopped engraving here the grip area which was very distinctive in the 1960s and 1970s starting in the 1980s they dropped off that and well uh, it looks nice but it tends to be more slippery the chrome while on the sterling silver one it's more uh, has a better grip so this is how you can tell and again this being a 60s model it has a larger black tip so this is authentic this is not fake and also the fact that in this case that this one says Tiffany & Co well this is also authentic as uh, Cross did at some point produce uh, silver as well as gold pens for Tiffany so okay as you can see they're fairly very similar same size of cap, except that well, the shine and the tip will give you the will give you the hint. So again, this is the earlier one. And then what happened? At some point, probably they made it more distinctive or um, make it more elegant compared to the uh, fourteen karat rose gold. So what they did to make this pen a more higher uh, category, I guess, or more luxurious they made smaller the tip same as in the 14 karat gold this was at some point around the 1970s so 
from being this in the 60s, they reduce this to 1970s, and you also get a little bit more metal. So you're probably getting, they probably maybe raise the price, I guess. And that's what happened. Same here, no changes. You see a distinctive difference between the chrome tip and the rest of the body, which is sterling silver. The difference now is that here, the engraving it has incursive cross. Uh, the higher level ones always had this uh, cursive font. And then here it says cross sterling silver made in USA. And a more discreet and smaller dot made of sterling silver compared to the earlier one, which had a larger uh, silver button or dot, if you want to call that a dot. So it became more sleeker, maybe a little bit more refined with this slight change of the cap, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. It's also sterling silver, same twist mechanism as you can see, silent, not very noisy at all. This pen was also made, let me point out, also in Ireland. So you might be able to know to find this pen as in made in USA, but also made in Ireland. So this was around the 1970s all the way to today. But then what happened? What's, what's up with this third one? Okay, this third one was only Irish made. Uh, and what's the difference? Well, the tip is the same. You see the distinctive look between the chrome and then this silver. And you have the same cursive cross font. But what's the difference here? In here, we go back to the big black plastic tip and the larger silver dot on top, but it also has a lovely and, and elegant sterling silver band around the, the cap. But what's the difference with this one? This being an Irish made, it says silver plated. So this one is actually just silver plated. It's not fully sterling silver. It has the shine of sterling silver, but if you rub a lot against it, you'll probably reach an, an inner brass area. So um, I guess this was probably launched sometime or I was told by Cross because I wrote to them and they told me sometime around the 80s to probably early 90s and it was only in Ireland. So you might not be able to see that much this pen probably in the US or in other places. It's not that common. Um, this pen was more I guess more available in Europe than in USA or the Americas so if we compare it it's fairly similar everything except for the tip the tip that's what gives us the hint so whenever you see this cap with a van this is the silver plated one and well oh and as of now this has been uh, discontinued Sometime around the 90s uh, or early 90s, this pen was discontinued as it was only made in Ireland. And now, nowadays, we just have this one. This is a vintage US made one. Uh, this model is still very popular and it's still made, but now made in China as, as well as all the other uh, cross pens. I really like the heft of sterling silver. I like the shine, again, as I said. Uh, it's a truly beautiful pen. I, I really like it. I like the shine. Um, I like the fact that it shines a bit better than the Lustrous Chrome. But nonetheless, the Lustrous is still nice. If you want to have like a cheap one uh, and, and you don't want to dent uh, a sterling silver one. So, But I personally really like a lot this one. It's very distinctive, very classy, uh, timeless. And now let's give it a quick, let's give it a quick review. Let's see. So this is the cross century sterling silver one this one being a vintage one it's made in USA but uh, they were also made in Ireland and this was this is the sterling silver one some have the marking 925 silver as well as other have the marking of uh, silver plated. So any of these are also authentic. Don't be afraid. And this one, this one says sterling silver. So this is the other variant, sterling silver on the print. 
Some of these models, I may point out, have the 925 hallmark engraved, especially the Irish ones. So that also gives a hint of authenticity, the fact that it has a, both the cap and barrel uh, 925 um, engraved for authenticity. So this is one of my really, really favorite pens. I hope you really like this review. Oh, sorry, I was also forgetting. They also made the uh, rollerball and uh, the fountain pen. How can you tell this? Well, again, the shine will also tell you, but also the slim black cap will also tell you that this is the sterling silver one. Uh, this rollerball, this is one of Irish ones, uh, had a uh, publicity from a company which I snapped off 